I'm back! Yes. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a self-portrait photographer. I'm also the queen of introverts, the introverts of all introverts. So I literally take every single picture of myself in my room away from the outside world. Because that's just what it is to be an introvert. And today I'm going to be walking you through four things, four essential key things that you'll need to take your photography or your YouTubing or your Instagramming, your influencing to take it from medium to celestial, from average to incredible. All these things are really inexpensive. All of them are really easy to use. You don't have to be a professional. You know I'm all about keeping it simple and I'm all about being independent. And I'm just here for all the introverts, honestly. Like, I'm just here for all of you. Today's my first day wearing eyeshadow that I put on by myself, so it's gonna be a good day. And it's also gonna be a good day because I'm doing a giveaway. If you watch this video all the way to the end, you can find out exactly what it is that I'm giving away. It is, in my opinion, the absolute essential thing that every YouTuber needs, that every photographer needs, that anyone who is creating content on the internet, like this is the thing that we all need. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end. In this video, I'm also gonna be walking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I take my own pictures. Um, you can use this method to also do your own set design. You can use this method you can also use this method for YouTubing. It's really versatile, it's really easy, it's really quick, and it's really inexpensive. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to find out what I'll be giving away that will actually change your life. Like it'll literally solve all your problems in the world. And if you've watched this far already, just go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and subscribe and let's just jump right into it if you've been watching me for a while if you're an og of this channel you know that i am obsessed with creating my own sets and the first thing that you need to create your own set is a backdrop stand this backdrop stand is from savage universal and it's called the porter stand it's portable it's compact it's easy to set up and it also comes in a small little bag that you can use to take with you wherever you're going so it's really good for both indoor and outdoor shoots because it's quite sturdy it's also really versatile because it can accommodate backdrops of up to 107 inches wide the backdrops that i usually use are 53 inches wide i don't really need like the biggest backdrop because i'm usually just photographing myself and i'm going to show you how i set it up right now The second essential that you'll need for your self-portrait photography career is backdrops. If you know me, I am the most colorful human being in the world. Like all I do, I'm literally just a walking rainbow. What I love about Savage Universal is that they not only have every single color in the sun for paper backdrop, but they also have these really cool printed vinyl paper backdrops. What I love about these is that you can switch up your look and you can create an entire like outdoor shoot inside your home. And these backdrops are really cool because they have no glare. And if you get them dirty, they're also very easy to clean. I've literally, I literally have like four at this point of these vinyl paper backdrops and as you know I'm a fan of layering backdrops so they're really versatile, you can use them in so many different ways and you can just literally have them for years and years and you'll be good. This backdrop right here is the Field of Flowers 
printed vinyl but I also have a bunch of other vinyl paper backdrops that you've probably seen on my Instagram page and if you're not following me on Instagram what are you even doing? On top of vinyl paper backdrops we also have seamless paper backdrops which just come in solid colors. I have every single color under the sun because again I'm a walking rainbow and all of these are from Savage Universal. Most of my paper backdrops um, I think literally with the exception of like two are 53 inches wide. You can all get them from savageuniversal.com. They're really inexpensive and what I love about these backdrops is that you can do so much with them. You can cut them up, you can you can destroy them, you can do whatever you want but there's so much paper in one roll that you can really experiment as much as you want and still have a lot of paper left over. My paper backdrops last me between one to two years, which is really good value for your money, considering it's not even more than $30. It's wild. The next thing, the most underrated thing in my opinion, as far as taking your videos to the next level, is sound. Oh my god, sound. This tip is mostly for YouTubers. The sound quality of your videos is what really distinguishes them from being bland, from being average to being good quality. One really inexpensive way of getting really crisp, clear sound is using a lav mic. A lav mic is the mic that I'm using right now and literally all you have to do is clip it onto your clothes and switch it on and connect it to your camera and you're done. It's very easy to use really simple but it's really good quality for the money the mic i'm using right now is clipped onto my waist as you can see and all you have to do this is the part where you switch it on it also is compatible with smartphones so if you're not using a dslr to shoot your videos you can also connect it to your smartphone what i was using before was my iphone which is okay, but it's also kind of a hassle to have to sync your audio with your video every time you're editing. A really great thing about a lav mic is that your audio is already embedded into your video, so you don't have to take that extra step when you're editing your video. And the sound quality is actually just a lot better. It's a lot clearer and it blocks out quite a lot of the background noise. I live in New York, which is the loudest place in the galaxy, like in the entire universe there is nowhere louder than new york this is what my sound sounds like using an iphone and this is my sound using nothing just the sound coming from the camera if you live in a loud city it is really crucial that you get a good microphone and the final thing and this is the holy grail of all photography, video, YouTubing, anything, is the Ring Light Beauty Video Kit from Savage Universal. This kit is it's basically a lighting kit that serves all of your YouTube needs as well as all of your photography needs all in one package. I used to actually shoot with umbrella lights until I got a ring light and then I was like, what am I, what do I need umbrella lights for? In one kit, you get a 19-inch luminous LED ring light. You also get two types of snap-on diffusers, which is just a way for you to adjust your lighting. It also comes with a cell phone holder and a DSLR mounting bracket so that you can use it both for your iPhone and for your DSLR. It also comes with two reversible polyester backdrops, one in a neutral gray color and another in a chroma green color. And the most convenient thing ever, it comes actually with a light stand. In general, when you buy a ring light, it generally doesn't come with a light stand, so you have to buy that separately. So this is really convenient because it just has everything that you need all in one. However, if you don't feel like using a light stand, it also comes with these really handy adhesive wall hooks so that you can just stick your ring light onto a wall and this is really good if you're you know if you're shooting a video and you don't have much space or you don't have much time and you don't feel like doing a doing an entire setup you can literally just stick your ring light onto a wall so i'm going to show you two different ways to set up your ring light it also comes with a mirror 
which is really amazing both for self-portrait photography especially if you don't have a flip if you don't have a camera with a flip out screen but also it's really amazing for beauty vloggers beauty youtubers anyone who like shoots beauty having a mirror with your ring light will actually change everything it'll literally change your life so I'm gonna show you right now two different ways of setting up your ring light and then I'm gonna show you how I set it up to shoot with the backdrop paper that I just showed you and then I'll show you the final results For today's shoot, I'm actually just going to be using my iPhone to photograph myself. I have the iPhone 7, I think it is. The iPhone has a self-timer. Good photography has so much more to do with your lighting than with your camera. But also because I'm using my camera to record my entire process. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So this is the final result. This is the one picture using a ring light. I haven't edited this. And this is a picture without a ring light. Both are unedited, just so you can see what the light looks like without any post-production editing. To do the most minimal editing, you're gonna need good lighting. You could have literally the best camera in the world, but if your lighting isn't good, everything's gonna be trash. Like, good light will change the course of your entire life like the course of your entire existence which brings me to our giveaway so today i'm going to be giving away this entire ring light beauty video kit and i'm going to be giving it away to one lucky winner all you have to do to enter into the giveaway is to comment below in this comment section letting me know what you would do if you were to get you a ring light video kit and make sure to like this video and I'll be announcing the winner on my Instagram page. So in order to enter into the competition, all you have to do is comment below, like this video and follow me on Instagram just because that's where I'm going to be announcing the winner on October 5th. The link to my Instagram will be in the description box below but also right here on the screen, right here. This is my Instagram. <laughs> If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you actually doing? And all the clothes that you've seen in this video and also in all of my previous videos, I'm selling all of them. I'm emptying out my wardrobe. I'm decluttering my entire life. And I'm using my bedroom as a photo studio to take pictures of the clothes that I'm selling. So self-portrait photography is also a really useful tip if you're a business owner. If you're starting a business and you can't afford to hire a photographer, you can actually just take your own pictures if you're selling clothes or makeup or whatever it is instead of having to rely on an external photographer in the beginning. So you can shop my entire wardrobe at Depop. 
I have a store on Depop and I will link everything in the description box below. Everything is less than $20 because I'm just trying to get rid of everything. So if you would like to take all of my clothes, including this shirt, I'm also going to be selling this shirt, as you can see. Most things on my Depop are like brand new or have only been worn once, less than $20. So feel free to shop my wardrobe if you please. And lastly, this giveaway is only for the US and Canada. Unfortunately, I don't have the funds to be shipping all the way to outside lands. So this giveaway is limited to US and Canada. So that's that on that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to follow me on Instagram. Tag me in all of your self-portraits. I love to see them. Love seeing all the things that you guys come up with. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.